Hey, hey everyone, Aaron here with a fresh new video. Wanted to compare two little tiny controllers we got out there, the Hercules Starlight and Newmark's dj to go 2 They are very similar. All right, so if you're in the market and you're looking for a little tiny controller, these are very similar. I think there's one feature that each has that differentiates itself from the other, and that one feature is the reason why I'm keeping one of them and selling or getting rid of the other. Let's start with the Hercules controller, walk through all the features, specs, and then we'll go to Newmark, and then I'll tell you what I think at the end. Taking a look at the Hercules, we'll start over here, work our way down, and it's easy to set it up. Just plug in the USB mini into the Hercules right here, and then it goes right into USB, right into your laptop. We'll start over here with the pitch bend, and yeah, it's there's some resistance there, and it's got a click in the middle, so you know you're right back to the original. We've got the itty bitty jiggy committee over here. Small little jog wheels here. So, I mean, like for those of you who are what scratching, I, I don't know. <laughs> I got, I've seen people do it online, but really, you're not going to be doing much scratching on this. Sync, Q, play buttons. And underneath, you see we've got some extra things here. That's because we've got the shift button. Shift button allows you to toggle through sync off. Back button here so you can go back a song. And then you can switch over here, play then becomes a stutter. Moving over here, the performance pads. As you can hear, they're buttons. They're just clicky, plasticky buttons here. You can toggle through the loop, hot cue, and again, shift switches you over to FX. Sampler. Up here is the master volume for the uh, output. And the master is right over here. So this is just an eighth inch cable that you need to go out to whatever you have it connected to. Here are the individual volumes for each deck one. So deck one, deck two, here are the volumes for it. Underneath, this is interesting, they give you a bass and filter option and you toggle between the two of those with this button here. So I believe when you push it, now it's on filter. So it'll do high pass, low pass. And if you take it out, then it just kind of pulls the bass out. If you keep it at zero, it's just, it'll be normal there. And then as we move our way across the other side, it's, it's Pretty much the same. Only other thing that I mentioned was the headphone jack is over here, and it does have some Q buttons here for when you are got the headphone in, you can hit the Q button and you'll hear what you got on deck two over there. It does have vinyl mode that you can go in and out of, which is nice. And one other feature that they highlight amongst this, is probably why they call it the starlight, is because of this. It's got a little light show underneath here. So if you like that or you want that, you can, you know, as it's sitting on the desk, if you don't want the lighting on, there's a simple way to turn it off. Go over to your Serato settings. Once you click on mixer and then go to lighting control and then you can turn it off or you can have it go beat to fade. You can have it beat flash. You can have it go with your volume. There's different settings you can do here, but there's a way to turn it off. So if you don't want that on anymore, it turns the lights off. All right, hit that like button and then we'll go to the next part of the video. Come on, just do it, come on. Ah, there you go. Over here now at the DJ to go two, we've got pitch bend over here. And I feel it's the same kind of resistance I feel. And it's got a clicky here, so you know you're right back in the middle. Sync, Q, play buttons that flash. Over here we've got our Q buttons. The buttons weren't lit up for the Q points, but then once I hit the pad mode and got the red light over Q, they, they lit back up. So now, as I touch them, yeah, these now they're lit up so you know I've got some cue points here. That's nice. Up here, we've got the master volume level. Over here again, really small little jog wheels. Cue button for your headphones. Here's a volume level for deck one. Let's go over here to pad mode. So pad mode allows you to toggle through cues, which we were on. Now we're on auto loop or manual loop you can do. You can set manual loops or do an auto loop by hitting one or two. And then you can access your samplers on that as well. Let's go back to cues. Over here on the right side in deck two, the exact same thing. Everything's over there. On this side, we've got the main out. Again, eighth inch out that you can go into your speaker. Headphone jack right over here. USB. That's pretty much it. Nothing underneath. No lights. No nothing. But let's talk about the big difference here between this one and the other one that the Newmark has. And that's right up here. We've got browse and load buttons. And I, I got to tell you, uh, this... This is why I'm choosing the Newmark over the Hercules because it's kind of nice to be able to scroll through your tracks, load them into one and two without having to use the mouse. Hercules threw in some, some other things where 
you know, with the lights and the base filter. And I, I would have traded this out. I'd have taken that out and added the the brows and the low button. But then again, like, what's the difference between the two? Why buy one or the other? Lights over here, low brows. I feel like that's it. You know, this one's a little bit smaller, definitely lighter than the Hercules controller as well. Uh, Crossfader feels pretty much the same on both of them. Who are these for? Why do you need these? I'm generally a wedding DJ if it's your first time at the channel. And I think that this is going to come in handy for me practically. You know, when I'm in a situation where I've got one room that is the dance room, another room where they're doing cocktail, dinner, right? So it'd be nice to have my laptop. I can bring it with me, take one of these little guys, hook it up, and then for ceremony. So if I'm in a situation where, again, if I'm indoors, I don't want to use my iPad, I grab one of these controllers, grab my laptop. I really do like having physical buttons when you're doing the ceremony, especially when you're fading in, fading out, that kind of stuff. So for me, that's it. I think there's some of you out there, maybe you clicked on this video, you're a beginner DJ looking for something small, cheap. Both of these are under 100 bucks, and they come with Serato DJ Lite. So you're ready to go. All you gotta do is plug it into your laptop. You get the software for free, load up some tracks, you're ready to DJ. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about any of these and I'll answer them if I know them. If not, just reach out to the company. I didn't make these. Thanks for watching, I'll see you at the next one.